Oh my gosh, I am in like a creative wonderland right now, you guys. This is Sophia's house. It's a cottage, it's yellow, it's so cute. You guys know Sophia. Feeling free? <laughs> I am feeling so free today. We are going to do a DIY standoff frame slash whiteboard. Yes, we are playing with slashes because we like versatility, don't we? So most important thing you will need is a piece of acrylic. You could also call it plexiglass. You could get it at a frame store or at your local big box hardware store. You guys may remember in office bowls, we have a giant piece of it in the couscous room that we use as a whiteboard. That's what this is. We have this larger piece, which we are going to use this Mr. Kate full year 2017 calendar inside of. And over here, we also have the standoff and they just screw off. So basically you screw one part to the wall, it stands off about an inch and then you will sandwich the acrylic in between. We also have a drill here and a plastic slash acrylic drill bit. So the other things I have here is the ruler and a marker to mark where I'm gonna drill through for the standoffs. And if you guys are curious, this calendar is for sale on the Mr. Kate shop. And what's gonna be so awesome is you can draw on it with dry erase markers. So once this is sandwiched in the acrylic, I can mark all over it and plan my year. That's all we need for the supplies before we get into the DIY though. Subscribe guys. We are really, really getting up there. Oh my gosh, almost at hashtag Mr. Kate 1 million. Thank you all. If you're not yet subscribed, join the Creative Weirdo family. All right, let's get into the DIY. I would advise having whatever print or calendar or artwork of any kind that you plan to sandwich in your acrylic nearby because you want to lay it down and mark where you're going to put the standoffs because you don't want the standoffs to overlap over whatever piece of art you have in here. This piece of acrylic is bigger on all edges. Something that you can decide if you want less acrylic, but you should definitely make sure that it is at least a little bit bigger than whatever you're gonna put inside so that you don't have any edges of the paper hanging out on the side, that's not cute. We are going to sandwich this piece of paper between two of the exact same size pieces of acrylic. So let me take my little tool here, that. So maybe like an inch and a half in and an inch and a half down on that side. Now I'm gonna just draw this line. <laughs> Geometry. <laughs> Not super good at it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now right here at the little crisscross is where I'm gonna drill. And I now need to do that to all four corners of this piece. What's great about this product, you guys, is all the supplies really aren't that pricey. Like, they really don't break the bank, so it's totally worth it. And once you have, like, the drill bit, you can make so many of these. All right guys, so now it is time to drill through our markings here. I've got my drill bit all ready. I'm also leaving the protective covering on the acrylic. It's on both sides. And that's just gonna help the acrylic not splinter. And I also have a nice thick piece of scrap wood under here, which is essential because when you drill through the acrylic, you'll want to hit something protective. And especially because I'm drilling here on Sophia's dining room table, which I, I did ask her. It's okay to drill on your table, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, let's do it. Sounds like I'm hitting wood. All right, so I wanna make sure that the hole is nicely drilled through because as you can see, the standoff screw is real big, so that needs to fit through, and it does. All right, great, so I'm gonna continue doing that to all four corners of this first piece. Okay, I'm done with the holes on this first piece and I'm taking this second piece that I haven't drilled in yet and sliding it behind, lining it up so that I can mark exactly where I'm gonna drill and know that the holes on the first piece are gonna line up perfectly with the back piece because we want a nice even sandwich. Great, taking off piece number one. And now I am going to mark the center of my little circle holes. All right, we've 
got our holes. And now we get to peel off the protective coating. It's very satisfying, you guys. Ooh, girl! This is so actually harder. <laughs> Ooh, you really can't rip it off fast. It's not like a band-aid, guys. This is like Pilates. So, exhale. Last corner, no! Ah! Oh my gosh, here is the sandwich time. It's time for this acrylic to get a delicious meal of a beautiful calendar. Obviously, the most important thing you wanna keep in mind is making sure that your print is straight. How to do that? I would say use your eyeballs. Presence of the holes makes it a bit easier. If you guys want to use glue dot, like something clear, to adhere your print to the back piece, you could do that because it would be against the wall, you wouldn't really see it. It's sticking pretty well when you take the film off. Before I secure my sandwich together, I'm gonna use a lens cleaner to just make sure that all of the fingerprints are off from the inside. I'm making it seem like it's a permanent thing. Obviously, you can open them up and put new things in. Another cool idea, guys, is if you wanted to have the back differentiate from the front sandwich piece, you could spray paint it so it looks like your print is resting against like a pop of color and then the clear piece goes over top. So many options. Boom, boom. All right, they are lined up. Now time to get these standoffs in. I'm just gonna stick through the screw part so that I know these are nice and secured together before I then flip it up. So one way to do it is you can measure the space between the holes of the standoffs and then you can mark that on the wall. Or a fun little cheat, which is what I'm gonna do, is before you sandwich your art, you can use one of the pieces that already has the holes drilled in to just mark in the center of all those holes so that you know exactly where to drill and you know it will line up perfectly. These are the backs of the standoffs and then I have these screws that fit nicely. That is how these adhere to the wall. You gotta get your drill bit down into there. All right, I've got the standoff backs nicely, snugly mounted to the wall and then I have the front part of my sandwich here. I actually used some little pieces of tape here at the corner to just keep it nice and secure, obviously, because I don't have the backs on. And now I am going to go up onto the wall. Your last screw, it's tightened. <gasps> that looks so cool, you guys. I really, really love it. I love that you can put anything you want in this type of setup. A picture, you could even do like pressed flowers or pressed leaves. And of course, what's also so cool about this is you can write on it, right? So I've got the calendar up there. I can use my dry erase marker and mark in whatever I want. And if you guys are interested in this calendar, it has some hand-painted little cuties on there. And of course, all of the lettering is hand-drawn as well. So if you want to check it out, that is on our website, shop.mrgate.com. That's it for today's DIY. I think it's so cool, so versatile. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments what you think and give us a thumbs up. What else, what else? Oh, right. Subscribe, you knew what I was gonna say. Please subscribe. Guys, we need you to be part of our hashtag Mr. Kate 1 million family, our family of creative weirdos. And I will see you on the next video, on the next DIY decorating video, style video, whatever. See you there. Mwah, bye. Mr. Kate.